Hi there, and welcome to another video on the Bite Size channel. Today, I'll be giving you an introduction to the Circle Transform Op. First of all, I'd like you to pause the video and just make what you see here. Great, let's get started. I'm going to add here a Circle Transform Op. I'm going to pull this up. I'm now going to click on the transform for the cube, and I'm going to turn the scale down so we can see what's happening. Now we can see we have a load of cubes mapped to the coordinates of like some kind of circle. So if I click the circle transform up, segments first of all decides how many that we've got. So I'm now going to put this on 30. Radius is how what the radius of the circle is, uh, and percent is a way of making them kind of like draw onto the screen. Rotate makes them rotate from the center of the circle. I'm going to leave this on for now. So here we have the index, which is each of these as a number, 0, 1, 2, and so on. So I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to plug it into map range. Um, and I have 30. So I'm going to say old min 0, max 30, new minimum 0, new max 360 degrees. I'm now going to plug this into rotation x. And you know what? Let's make this a little bit bigger so we can see what's happening. So in between, I'm going to add a sum because I want to animate this. So I'm now going to add a timer 2 to that output. And I'm going to put the speed on, say, 20. And as you can see, the cubes are now rotating. It's a pretty nice effect. So we can do something else here. Let's get a random numbers op. And here we plug the index into this. So now I want a number between, say, 0 and 1. I'm now going to grab a little special op called if between then. It triggers when a value is between min and max. So I'm going to disconnect this trigger here, plug it in there, and now plug this one in here. So now I'm going to say if the number is, say, between 0 0.25 and 0 0.75, then trigger, basically. So now if I go to this random numbers and change the seed, we get all these different occurrences. So it's a really great way to generate like different patterns, to say it that way. If I want more shapes, I can just make the if between then bigger. So I could also go here to the circle transform, put this on 50, map range 50. And as you can see, I'm getting some really cool different generative patterns here. So this is an introduction to the Circle Transform Op. I hope it's been educational and showed you a few cool tricks that you can do with this simple seemingly op. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the video below or to post them on the forums. Thanks for your time. Bye.